Cosmo. There's a Cosmo. These girls are over pouring. In product costs, that's expensive drink. You're pouring triple portions. That looks so full. Ooh, look at her face. You can't serve that to customers. It's entirely too much alcohol. Kettle and cran and uh, kettle and soda. Kettle and soda, kettle and cran, on the way. What's that, like, 63? Three ounces. <laughs> She's just all over the place. What I'm saying is I took the crap. Madam, this is just a glass of booze. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. Topping it up. Taking a sip is like doing yeah. a shot. Yeah, very irresponsible. Because it leads to overconsumption. And then what happens is they down three ounces in a few minutes. If you broke it into two drinks as you should, you would have then doubled your profits. Right. Here's a half open ginger beer and a glass of something. Yep. There's just stuff all over the bar. She should be focused on saving liquor costs, making sure you're pouring right, making sure that you have a comfortable, clean atmosphere. You and I have been here now about an hour. Mm -hmm. You see the owner, Jeremy? Not anywhere. Uh, out of my he has no idea the amount of liquor they're giving away. I don't know about you, but I am out of freaking patience. His family's money is on the line. This is freaking absurd. This is Lisa Marie. So what did you see last night that bothered you? The thing that bothered me the most was the amount of liquor that went across the bar was absolutely ridiculous. It's not responsible. And it's your fault. It's not the ghost's fault, it's your fault. Okay, let's go to work, guys. All right, guys, I watched last night. You poured three ounces for each drink. So training today is gonna to be all about four. I'm gonna tell them to pour an ounce and a quarter, which should be your standard pour for any bar. And then we're gonna pour into an exacto pour. We're gonna see if the most important pour is on point. I want you to pour an ounce and a quarter and just put it in there. Next, ounce and a quarter. Switch, next. <laughs> Let's see what you got, boo. Uh. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing at me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an owner pour. <laughs> okay, so check it out. I'm not surprised. Right here. <laughs> this is Miss Nicole's, the highest one. Yeah. So, Nicole right here is an ounce, over an ounce over. I think that's just the way we were all for it, I don't know. Jeremy, you're almost right effing on. Why are you teaching them? And you can be able to hold in the sand and say, Nicole, I just watched you pour that. You're wasting my booze. I'm not the only one doing, doing it, but it's not that bad. That's the thing. You're not thinking about the dollars that you're losing across the bar. When divided into one and a quarter ounce serving, a one liter bottle of liquor produces 27 cocktails. Pricing a cocktail at $7 translates into total sales of $189 per bottle. An overpour of three ounces of liquor reduces the total servings per bottle to 11 cocktails. This translates into total sales of only $77, resulting in a loss of $112 in potential revenue per bottle. Don't cheat your business. You gotta realize right. it, because you're not, you, but it's, it's, you're doing it's it to him. You're doing When you pour a whiskey and soda, where does that whiskey come to? Should be like right about here. Should be right about there? Yeah. No. Overflowing. Overflowing. Two, three, four, five. Double was where you said for a single. Let's just not exaggerate it like crazy here. This is three ounces of booze. This is one and one quarter. I just don't think that's real. I don't think that's reality. You just, what, I just poured it. I know, but I'm saying what I poured last night. I wish we could get a thing in here okay. right now to show you. Okay. This is the drink that you served last night. And then there was trash. Let's just get into it. There's just trash everywhere. And then there's this over here. There's probably some lime juice over on the bar over here. Your bar looked like a disaster and you're serving people three ounces of booze. I just want to be exactly real. Let's be exactly real. Exactly real. It. Let's be real. Your count is up and it's him in the I, I don't think that's completely accurate. You keep talking and interrupting and interrupting and keep talking, 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 and it pisses me off. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Uh oh. I don't want to 
Wow. The bar is now suddenly packed. Hey, where is this crowd coming from? I can find it, I can find it. Uh, they're deer in headlights. Don't get quiet, get excited. Load up with some shots. Let's yeah. go. Shot, 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 shot. Here we go. Oh, let's get to work. As the customers are walking in, what are they doing? Shots. The bartenders overserve themselves. This girl yeah. and the manager, they're not doing just anything. Let's see what Jaime is doing. Not supporting his staff. He's chilling. He could be bringing some drinks to people in the second or third row, because none of that back of the room has been served. Oh, I'm seeing bad habits already. Ah, that's irresponsible over pouring. And look at how they overserve everyone. You want to make it double? Make it a triple. Triple? Two. Look at the shots they make making. Those are enormous if those are shots. Look at the size of that's a five, six ounce shot. the size of a full cocktail. Why are there more people in the bar? They can take the order and sit there. I don't know. That is not management. Go oh, help the people over there. Go make the drinks. Why don't you go make the drinks? We're losing money. Oh, that's not my fault. Every time his mother says something, he shoots her down. Go get some bottles. Uh -oh. I don't see you going. He has no respect for her. What do you do? Go. He acts like he knows everything, but he does nothing. Turn up and the way Jaime manages them, look at the staff drinking, customers over drinking, there's no responsibility. And no consequences. Place. It's a complete chain reaction. And it starts with Jaime being responsible to his freaking mother. I want you to understand this. I had this place under surveillance, right? And this is what happens. Times when I came, I tell you, don't use that, use the small ones. That's why I need to begin to check this. Ending stronger than the kid. Four, three, five, six, I lost count. It is amazing. One, two, three. Keep watching. I know I'm one of them in the back, and that I act that way, it kind of like made me feel bad. It was pretty embarrassing. See? at your front door. There's uh, definitely rowdy things going on there. Um, the guy did throw up outside. We did kind of go to sleep in the bar. Sometimes that's a, that's a handy draw. So you did all this, let your mom put more money on the line. They're not trained, but you've been to bartending school, Mr. Big Shot, right? Is what I said fair, girls? Yes, no, some of us don't know what we're doing or you know, we're kind of jumping in, trying to trying to learn as we go. So who is that? I think it's been said about me. Cousin asked me, what's in this cocktail? I'm like, I don't know. Do you understand that depth of failure? You supposedly know how to run it. This bar was going to get shut down five years ago, but my efforts have had enough Crushed profit. your mother $100,000 in those five years, big mouth. They're sleeping at your bar. They're so overserved, and they're puking at your front door. What's the point of handing out a flyer if that happens when you walk in? What's the point of a sign if that's what happens when they walk in? What's the point of hiring them if you don't train them? How you doing? Good. Um, do you have any specials? I do have two for one shots. Oh, I don't need to start off like that. Do you have anything on draft? Yeah, oh, lemon vodka? No. I guess I'll just have plain vodka and tonic. It's kind of surprised that they didn't have any beer or liquor considering that they're a bar. Yeah, it looks good. There you go, gentlemen. The guy sitting next to me ordered an inception bomb, which is a shot inside of a shot inside of a shot, all in a pitcher. You're supposed to finish it in 10 seconds or less, and you get it for free, which promotes binge drinking. One, two, three. Go, 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 go! Sixteen point six. <laughs> he finished it in sixteen seconds, and he was hammered afterwards. And I had to tell him to sit down. I feel like you're a little wobbly. Thank you. And you know why? He just did that really big shot. He's a little, you know. You're hurting the feelings. <laughs> when you sell an inception, drink. 
If you sell them a second drink, you're going to lose your liquor license. After one inception, one inception, you're beyond the legal blood alcohol level. An inception bomb consists of five ounces of alcohol. That is more than three times a standard serving consumed in about 10 seconds. In nearly all instances, this dangerous combination is enough to spike anyone's blood alcohol level beyond the legal limit. Guys, I got to turn this bar from a drunk fest into a place where people come and you make money. Bars are about length of stay. We're going to come up with a drinks program that's profitable, fun, around an environment that makes people come here and stay for two hours. You guys make more money, costs are better, and we win. Who this guy? Somebody back there don't give a Can I get a drink? Can I go in there and sell us? Can I get a seller too? So what's this? It's a long guy out. Want me to pour it out? You can drink it. I'll pour it out here. Yeah. I don't want it. So when this bar is this full, you'd think you'd be making money right now, wouldn't you? Hell yeah. What if I told you you weren't? Then I would want to look and see how many people in there ordering. So what I did is I sent somebody in here called Partender. Mm -hmm. What they do is they go behind your bar, they weigh every liquor bottle. Right. And then we let you run for two days. Mm -hmm. So at the end, I compare what they run to what they used. Okay. And it shows me the difference. Last weekend, they poured $6,500 worth of booze, mm -hmm. but they only took in $2,700. They lost $3,726 just this weekend. That was the weekend. This is the losses for the month. This is the losses for the year. That's disaster. That is disaster. That's disaster. They blew it. You're damn right. Hey, blood, you, you ready to do a live performance? No, nah, I don't know. Y'all done turned him up, blood. What the? They got me up. OK, who got you Y'all want to hear some rap to hear me? Yeah, bitch, I'm from 2 3. They call me Big 2 3. I mean, his freestyle was just weak. Tell your bitch she can suck this. Man. The problem is that there's a woman sitting there with her mother. Now what? And he's talking about a blowjob. Not only that, but. He done put them dirty ass butt cheeks all on the bar. You don't want to hear my music? Get the fuck out. That's my bar right now. Shut your ass up. What the hell is he doing? Nah, that's over the top. I want you to know what's happening. Oh, shit. Our food cost is 46%. It should be 30. Yeah. Every time we serve a plate of food, we lose money. In only nine months, this bar is going to cost you $241,000. Did you realize that this was a quarter of a million dollar hit? No. It's a big hit, Marshawn, isn't it? It's huge. Who can afford to write a quarter of a million dollar check again and again and again? Yeah. No. 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 You know, this isn't funny. I ain't making no and jokes. I, no, and I don't want you to, because understand, it's his money. So we're failing. We're losing the game. And this poor guy with all that heart and character is writing the checks. And that ain't freaking cool. If we don't win for him, he's a fool if he doesn't take his money elsewhere, isn't he? That's right. Just this weekend, in the past few days, we poured $6,509 worth of alcohol and we only took in $2,783. The hell? What? Yes. These are the facts. I was shocked at the amount. That's a lot of money. $3,726 worth of drinks were given away. And how long? Three days. Three days. So you're saying three days we over poured $3,760. Well, over poured? Over poured or drunk Drank it? it? Gave it away, comped it, Damn, three little, six, little, six, little, six, adds up. There's drinks that's being drank, it's drinks that's not being logged, there's drinks that's being wasted. There's drinks being poured, there's drinks not being paid for. I saw you drinking a beer last night. And I paid for it. Keisha, you believe that? Not 100%. Neither do I. So you Neither call me I. a thief? I'm agreeing with her, who thinks you're full of shit. 
We've had countless meetings and talked to, and it's like it goes in one ear and out the other. All right, well, I'm full of shit then. You full of shit too then. Really? I'm sitting, I'm sitting here with here hard too. numbers. See, bullshit's not gonna fly with me, Dante. I don't have an opinion yet. You do have an opinion. You had an opinion all day. Well, I had an opinion when you sat on your ass at the bar. I had an opinion when you're guzzling a beer. I had an opinion when you told the bar to suck your Oh, that was vulgar. That stuff I had an that opinion was, about. That was, that was inappropriate. Would that you just, stuff I had an opinion about. What you just said was inappropriate. Now, if you want to get on board and work with us, I'm with you, man. If you're going to fight me every step of the way, understand, in the end, I'm going to win, Dante. Well, I'm trying to tell you I pay for everything I eat and consume in this restaurant. If they don't believe you. Free beer! Free beer! So there's Ami outside. He's our owner. Come and get it! Free alcohol! Oh, my God. Oh my God. It's like a carnival. Look at the bearded lady. Why would he scream oh free God. beer, free drinks? A guy comes in, gets a free drink, leaves, and goes across the street. And you can play pool for free as well. Free dates! Ami's definitely desperate. If you want to cheapen a bar, make it look empty and seem irrelevant, stand in front and beg people to come in. Oh, All right, by yourself. The hell is he saying? This guy's obviously hammered out of his mind. Good job, Absolutely. That we all have to be. Nick's a little uncomfortable. Look at how cheap the drinks are. Beers are two fifty with three dollar well drinks. So think about that. For a two dollar beer, they're oh, chasing $2. away a prime customer. Sure, man. Ami should be charging a couple of dollars more for these drinks. You got lucky. Arr. Oh, nice. He's hitting on his girlfriend. Oh my God. I can't help myself. I got eye candy. Open. She's a baby girl. The guy was so drunk. It's very uncomfortable. I don't want to hang out in a spot where they overserve all of their patrons. Did they give him another beer? She did. She is. She's about to hand him another beer. He's hammered. You know, one of the reasons why intoxication is so illegal, when you get somebody that drunk, whether they're driving or walking, they can get hurt. And the bar's liable when they do. They have a Cosmo. There's a Cosmo. These girls are over pouring. And product costs, that's expensive drink. You're pouring triple portions. That looks so full. Ooh, look at her face. You can't serve that to customers. It's entirely too much alcohol. OK, ladies and gentlemen, free champagne! Free champagne? Oh, my god. Who wants to have two shots? He's doing another bottle. OK. So no one has to pay for anything here. No. Here we go, another bottle of champagne coming out. OK. Look, it's all about watching him. Yep. Georgie, Bob, Mike, get the free drink over here. Why don't I get a free drink? You absolutely get a free drink. More free drinks. Fast, go! It's OK, me. so those champagne bottles have to cost him three bucks a bottle. We watch him give away four bottles. That's $12. Yeah. So at a 20% cost, that $12 costs himself potentially $60 worth of sales. Ami likes to be Mr. Entertainer. The problem is he's giving away half his bar. I got to teach him how to create a great guest experience without giving a house away. These are Bevintel reports. What this company does is they come in here and they weigh every liquor bottle behind the bar. Then they look at your sales for the next night, and they come back and they weigh the liquor bottles again. It has to do with how much we poured based upon how much we should have poured. Here are the statistics. Friday, you got a D from Bevintel. You guys gave away $960.76. Gets worse. Saturday, an F. Read this number. How much did they give away? $1,596.51. Thank you very much, girls. He's losing two to $3,000 a month here. And I just showed you $2,000. That's not funny. Had you guys poured correctly, he would not have lost money last month. Those girls cost me my business. Those girls cost me my livelihood. This is amazingly stupid. I cannot believe you get $2,500 worth of drink for free. You betrayed me. That's $2,500 and that we can make all the difference between living and dying. How much did you give, give away? How much did you give How many away, free Abby? drinks did we pour for him that night? Last night, we gave a lot of free alcohol. That was encouraged by Ami. We gave champagne, we gave shots, but we don't do it on our own. 
I mean, I watched you give away six bottles of champagne last night. If you think you're smarter than everyone in the room, you're not. Talk to the pissed. It's my money, my business, my life. And everything over here will go as I want. That's how I feel. One more. If I could fire everyone and issue them right now, I would. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.